let's talk about checking a gauge and making a swatch. So I let's believe that I have a pattern that tells me that the gauge should be 17 stitches for 4 inches. So I'm using the same yarn and the same needles that the pattern calls for. So I make my swatch and I only have 15 stitches for 4 inches and so that's not going to be enough to match the pattern. So therefore I need to use smaller needles to get more stitches into the 4 inches. So now I used a smaller needle, one size smaller, and now I get 17 stitches for the 4 inches. So that means that if you knit looser, you need to have more stitches, and that means you need smaller needles, and if you knit tighter, uh, you need bigger needles for the same amount of inches. So for the height, patterns usually tell you how many inches to knit before taking off or whatever. So I wouldn't worry too much about making a swatch to know how many rows. Unless it tells you exactly how many rows, then you do need to make a swatch. Something important is that the stretchness of every yarn is different. For example, the merino wool is much stretchier than, than acrylic. So it is very important that even if it's a number four yarn, it has different thicknesses, it has different textures. So it's very important to make your swatch and see what it is that you need to do as far as how many stitches to cast on. So please remember the gauge they give you in a pattern has to do with how the designer knits. So you need to adjust to that. Please don't be lazy about making your swatch. It's very important. And also try to wash your swatches and block them because it does make a little bit of a difference. We do have a tutorial on how to adjust your gauge. So please check it out. It is very easy and uh, thank you very much for watching. Please share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe.